Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2018, Question 14. So our curve C has the parametric equations x equals 3 plus 2 sine t and y equals 4 plus 2 cos 2t. Our first task is to show that all the points on C satisfy the equation y equals 6 minus the square of x minus 3. So our first thing is to notice that the parametric equations have got sine and cos in them. So if we can rearrange these to get sine equals and cos equals, we can use some identities to create our equation. So x equals 3 plus 2 sine t. We'll rearrange to make x minus 3 over 2 equals sine t. And the y equation will rearrange to make y minus 4 over 2 is equal to cos 2t. Now these two trigonometric functions are linked by the formula cos 2t equals 1 minus 2 sine squared t. So we can replace our cos and sine with our equations. So y minus 4 over 2 is equal to 1 minus 2 lots of the square of x minus 3 over 2. We can bring in the square into the brackets gives us x minus 3 squared over 4. Multiplying the bracket by the 2 and multiplying the entire thing by the 2 that's on the bottom of the left hand side gives us y minus 4 is equal to 2 minus x minus 3 squared and bringing the 4 over to the right gives us y equals 6 minus x minus 3 squared as required. So we now need to sketch our curve. So the first thing to notice is that our curve is of the form y equals minus x squared. So it's a quadratic curve, it's upside down because it's negative. But then we need to look at the fact it's got a plus 6 at the beginning and there's a minus 3 inside the brackets with the x before it gets squared. Well by our normal translation rules that 6 will translate it 6 places up the y-axis and the negative 3 will translate 3 to the right along the x-axis. So, so far we've got our upside down quadratic curve with a maximum at six, 3, 6. But we've also got to take account of our parametric equations. Note that sine t must be between minus 1 and 1. Now as x is equal to 3 plus 2 sine t, if sine is between minus 1 and 1, 3 plus 2 sine t must be between 1 and 5, hence our x can only be between 1 and 5. If we find the y coordinates to go with this, so x equals 1, y is equal to 2, and at x equals 5, y is also equal to 2. So our graph will look like this, going from 1, 2 to 5, 2, upside down quadratic, with a maximum at 3, 6. So we've now got that the line with equation x plus y equals k, where k is a constant, intersects our curve C at two distinct points. State the range of values of k, writing your answer in set notation. Well, if we've got x plus y equals k, rearranging this gives us y equals k minus x, which we can put into our Cartesian formula for C. So replacing the y with k minus x, gives us k minus x equals 6 minus the square of x minus 3. Expanding x minus 3 squared gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9. Simplifying the right hand side gives us k minus x equals minus x squared plus 6x minus 3. And moving all of our terms over to the left gives us x squared minus 7x plus k plus 3, which is a quadratic. Now we know it's got two distinct points where the lines intersect, hence our quadratic needs to have two answers. Now think of our quadratic equation. For a quadratic to have two answers, the b squared minus 4ac part needs to be larger than zero. So we've got b is equal to negative seven, we've got a equal to one, and c equal to k plus three. So putting those in gives us this equation here. Simplifying, gives us 49 minus 4k minus 12 is larger than zero. Rearranging this gives us 4k is less than 37, hence k must be smaller than 37 over four. So we've got our upper bound. Now the lower bound is a little trickier, but if we look at our graph, 
we've already seen that y is equal to k minus x for our straight line, which means it must be a straight line with a gradient of minus 1. Now the maximum for k is 37 over 4, which is the bit shown in our diagram here, where it just touches the curve on the top right side. Now if you imagine as k changes, this line will move downwards. The last point where it will cross our curve at two points is where the right hand point is 5, 2. After that, the straight line will only cross the curve on the left hand side. It will only have one point where it crosses, but so we want two. So our minimum is going to be at 5, 2. Putting that into our equation for k gives us 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So our k has to be larger than or equal to 7. So we've got smaller than 37 over 4, larger than or equal to 7. Putting this into set notation gives us the range of values for k is equal to brackets k colon k larger than or equal to 7, smaller than 37 over 4. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.